Syrian troops bombarded the town near Damascus on Thursday and fighting raged in and around the northern city of Aleppo, a day before a proposed truce for a four-day Muslim religious holiday. President Bashar al-Assad's government was expected to make a statement later in the day on whether it accepts the temporary ceasefire advocated by U.N.Dot Arab League envoy Lot Arbor Image. The Syrian authorities said on Wednesday they were still studying the plan, but Russia's envoy to the United Nations said Damascus had indicated to Moscow that it would agree to it. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. China urged all sides to respect a ceasefire, an idea also backed by Syria's main regional ally Iran, but there was no sign on the ground of any let-up in the violence on the eve of Eid al Adha the biggest feast on the Muslim religious calendar. Syrian troops pounded Harista, near Damascus, with tank and rocket fire, killing five people, after rebels overran to army roadblocks on the edge of the town, on the main highway from the capital to the north, opposition campaigner said. Rebels tried to maintain pressure onto army bases thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. On main roads leading to the contested city of Aleppo, a key prize in the 19-month-old uprising against Assad's authoritarian rule. No one is taking the ceasefire seriously, said Mos al Shami, an opposition and activist in Damascus. How can there be a ceasefire with tanks roaming the streets, roadblocks every few hundred meters and the army having no qualms about hitting civilian neighborhoods with heavy artillery? This is a regime that has lost all credibility. Even if Assad accepts a truce, there may be no unified response from serious fractured opposition. Some thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Armed groups have said they will abide by a ceasefire. Others, including the Islamist militant all news Front, have rejected it. In Aleppo, where opposition and activists reported more fighting and shelling, the rebel Shining Aleppo division said it would observe the ceasefire despite doubts over the credibility of the regime if it said stop moving armor units, halted air raids and released thousands of prisoners held without trial. War crimes were him as predecessor, former UN chief Kofi Annan, declared a ceasefire in Syria on April 12, but it soon became a dead letter, along with thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The rest of his six-point peace plan. Violence has intensified since then, with daily death tolls compiled by opposition monitoring groups often exceeding 200. Harista is being pummeled by tanks and rocket launchers deployed on the highway. The rebels are putting up a fight and it does not seem the army will be able to enter the town this time, said the Damascus resident, who gave his name as Mohammed. Assad's force pushed into Harista a month ago in an operation which opposition and activists said killed 70 people. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. In Geneva, UN war crimes investigators said they had asked to meet Assad to seek access for their team, which has been excluded from Syria since it began work a year ago. There was no word on how the Syrian leader would respond. The inquiry led by Brazilian expert Paulo Pinheiro has been investigating atrocities by both sides in the conflict in their latest report in August. The investigators said that Syrian government forces and allied militia had committed war crimes including murder and torture of civilians in what appeared to be a state directed thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Policy In Harista, an opposition group described the town as a disaster zone after the shelling. An army roadblock had been set up next to the main bakery. There is no water, no food, no medicine and prolonged power cuts it said in a statement. Activists also reported army artillery on the town of Anadan northwest of Aleppo. To the southwest of the city, rebels have been surrounding army barracks at the town of Autumn Mall Sudra, on the road between Aleppo and the Turkish border. Assad's forces appear to have curbed thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A two-week-old rebel offensive against an army base at Wadi al beef to the south near Merak al numan on the Aleppo-Damascus Highway. Rebel commander said an armored column sent to defend the base 10 days ago had arrived near Merak al numan despite rebel attacks. The column, now deployed just south for the town, is bombarding rebel forces operating near Wadi al-Dif.